to play with some clay. I'm going to take this bird here and I'm going to move it over a little because it makes the design of the uh, shield unbalanced. Yeah, it's not exactly his shield if I do that, but I'm looking for balance and sometimes you take artistic license and uh, change just a little bit. That doesn't seem to be a tool. I want to use. I'm already dealing with somebody who wasn't that flamboyant and uh, and it was because of his, uh, the dream that he had given him by a medicine man. It's about 4.20 in the morning. <laughs> I kept thinking about this last night and I finally decided to come down and do it. I've only got a couple of things left to do on the uh, crazy horse's uh, body. And uh, this is one of them. Put a couple of straps. It's not enough, but no one's gonna really see him anyway. But I gotta have some way of him holding the shield, and I'm gonna stick that into his hand to keep the shield in place. and make it so they can easily take it off. I got ahead of myself. I can't put that on yet. I've got to finish this uh, stomach of his right there. So I'll just remove the straps. It's warmed up outside. It's not as cold as it was yesterday. It's uh, up to 25 degrees. which compared to 15 degrees is warmer. As 
you notice when I'm not giving him a six pack, that's because he's not tense. He's not pumped up, he's just relaxed. give him a little more definition in his hair. Not a lot. head and see what else I can do to make that hair look a little bit better. All right, I'm going to put the shield back on. What they'll do is when they make a mold of the uh, shield, they'll just fill that hole that the fondue stick is making and into the hand, and uh, they'll fill it all in. little lighter fluid on the hair to take down the rough areas and smooth out the uh, stuff I just did to it. areas down the bottom part of the hair so I'm gonna have to work on that I'm often asked what happens to the metal rod in the back or into that goes into the clay and what they'll do is they'll make a mold around it and then just remove that uh, in the wax stage when they make a wax from the mold. Changing the angle of the light helps you highlight little flaws. And you just take them out very gently. Okay, the last thing I need to do is put my name in it.
Believe it or not, this is a signature I came up with in high school back in 1965. And I've kept it all these years. And I'm going to put a uh, copyright. The uh, copyright protects the uh, sculpture for the lifetime of the artist, myself, and for 50 years after my life ends. And then I put a edition number, it'll be a slash, and the edition is 40, that means it'll be 40 copies made, or available. And then what they'll do is they'll put the number of the edition above the slash. So if it's 1 of 40, it'd be 1. If it's 2 of 42, if it's 3 of 40, it's 3. So just, uh, that's how you sign your way. Okay, the final thing I do is just smooth out the, smooth, the rough areas with the uh, lighter fluid. I'm using a stiff brush. It's actually a basting brush that you buy at a grocery store. And the reason I'm using a basting brush is because uh, it's stiff to it's stiff enough to make clay get smooth, but it won't leave back bristles because the last thing you do want on a roast or a steak or ribs are bristles, and so these tend to be a little bit better brushes. And you don't have to spend 20 or 30 dollars for a oil painter's brush. Cheap brushes are available, but they have to be thought out as to why they're going to be good for you, even though they're not going to cost you an arm and a leg. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. I think Crazy Horse is done. Finally. Alright, now the next thing to do is pack it up and take it to the foundry, but I'm not going to do that uh, till probably next week. But I'm happy with the way this turned out. That's crazy, horse. Have a great day, everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.